day. Oh, Ooh. you're very bright over there. Why are you so bright? I don't know, but I'm getting brighter because I'm turning this one on. Why is that so bright? Well, there's lots of, you know, sunshine coming in. Well, move that one over, up or something. Hello to all of y'all. While she's farting around with that, I'm going to, you know, fix things over here on this end and pop out chat and say hello to people. I'm making sure I have lots of light. Yeah, you're you're, you're getting progressively brighter. <laughs> progressively? Progressively. Hey, how's my can? Oh, you won't know. You didn't. I think I, I knocked it. Yeah, I checked it. I think it's fine. Okay. I, I knocked think. it with the head. I love that she's telling me this right now, but I did check it. It seemed to be okay. It, it moved. I noticed that it had moved, but all right, let's do Not say. significant, but. Here's the deal. If you haven't said hello in the chat, please do, because then that we way we We forgot to tell people who we are. Oh, well, you want to do that real quick? I think they already know, but we always we, do that. We, we do. This is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And, and together, together we, we are PM Artist Studio. See, I think I'm always louder than you, so I'll let you go louder this time. Oh. Yeah. So, as I was saying, if you don't let us know that you're here in the chat, then we don't know who you are. Then you're just a number. That's totally fine. Lurk away. We appreciate that. But do give the thumbs yupsies to let people know that something cool is happening over here. And they may want to join as well. It is one of the greatest ways to show us appreciation and spread the word. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because that is also a very wonderful way to participate and support everything that we do. Yes. All right, so let's say hello to our participants. We have Anne, Heather, Brad, Cookie Wookie, that's also Mo, <laughs> Eva, Gretchen, Joni, Kathy Seek, Linda, Maxine, Panka, Stitching Arc, uh, pa Paula is her name. Is it just Paula with Paola. double L? But I want to say Paula because it has two L's. Anyway, oh. and then we have Susan. We got some other people. Colleen's popping in now. We got, uh, did I say Panka? Ludmilla. Awesome. Kathy Seek. Catherine Thames. Okay, guys. Oh, Arnetta. See, when you have an A name, it comes in at the very top. That's how that whole participant thing works. Seriously, alphabetical. It puts it in alphabetically. That, have you noticed when I read off the names? Pretty much there. In um, alphabetical. I, no, I did not know that. Yeah. I, I, that is not under my purview. <laughs> It's Porla. <laughs> Spell it. Well, she says P O O R L A. Porla. Porla. Maybe the I don't know if she meant to do the L or the R. <laughs> hey, Lynn. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do today? Actually, I'm gonna move some things around so I'm not like looking at like the delayed thing because that always throws me off a little. Because then I start paying attention to that and it trips me out. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, what's going on over there? Okay, so we are going to do some gel printing basics. We're going to talk through quite a bit of it because really the best way to get started is to make sure that you have the right stuff to get started. You know? Kind of like uh, you know, prep yeah. work is very important. And before before you start printing, you should probably even if it's brand new, because I, I hey Maxie, I uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Are, are we topside? I'm assuming people can see us. Can you guys see us? Screen is live. You might have, yeah, you might need to refresh, Maxine. Um, we we are um pretty much ready to start. Remember, I'm going to go through the supplies and all of that business. Okay. She's ready to put some paint down on the plate. I, I see that she's gearing up. No, on me. I'm cleaning. Okay, you're clean. I'm not even going to go topside. I'm going to stay on. And my board looks like poop, but you know I don't know what to say about that. Hey, Lisa! Thank you so much for the lovely gift. We will be showing that on Thursday. We and have, we you thought know, you want to have appreciative yeah. thoughts and things of that nature. And I, I, I hid the one part, Izzy's part, from her. Yes. Because she thinks anything that comes in the mail, there should be something in there for her. And I, she does recognize her name, so you know you gotta. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be. Quick. Gotta be crafty. <laughs> <laughs> Hide that stuff. Hide that stuff. Um, 
one of the requests that I have from you guys because we have so many of you that are, you know, you've been gel printing heck longer than P has. Uh, so if you have additional information and you want to let us know, shy. yeah, please add it. We, we need this because even though we sit down and talk through it, I'm sure there are some, some things and, and there's always, everybody has a different approach to it, I think. Um, you know, there are some basics, obviously, but then, um, you know, then you kind of acquire your own style. We'll talk to that here in just a moment. Hello, Darcy. So glad you are here. And Susan, so glad you are here. Yes, no topside quite yet. I mean, I can go topside if you want to stare at a blank plate. <laughs> watch me rubbing stuff around on watch, it. Watch her rubbing stuff off there. All right, so to begin with, obviously, you need a gel plate. That's pretty important. Ta -da! If, if you want to be gel printing, oh, that would be cool if I do. You could kind of yeah. talk to the things. All right, I'll go top side and we'll go to the little cameras there. It's probably more interesting, perhaps. Okay, so one of our things that we have found, or certainly P has found, is that starting out with an, a smaller plate is kind of ideal because then you don't have the pressure of filling up that big plate. Yeah, and number two, um, very obvious, well, not very obvious, but you're going to use less paint, and you're going to be able to control the paint that you're using a lot more on a smaller, and once you, you know, once you start making connections on how much paint to use, you can start moving up to the bigger plates. Yeah. But I, I highly recommend you don't start off with a 12 by 12. <laughs> Le Lexi is admiring. Would you like to see it big again here? I'll, I'll, I'll put her back in the big one. Oh, here, I'll even just go straight on just P cam. I think this is hopefully, yeah, look at her all big. And, and you get to see everything that I get to look at every day. Oh, bless your heart. Mm -hmm. Just You want to talk about your so necklaces for a second? Charmed world. Well... Yeah, I, I can. I've had them for over 30 years. Well, some of those beads on there are kind of new ones, aren't they? Well, no. Well, I mean, they might be new beads. New as in, but they're old. New old, okay. Yeah, I mean, th these are from... Um, I'm getting lots of love, lot, lots of red love. Oh, and did you notice the new emoji? We oh, have... Brad really did a good job. What is it? <laughs> we have a, a pee on fire. Oh, well, you know, does he have one on there where I look like I'm dripping and I've been in the water for a long time? That might be the next one. We need eight more subscribers. <laughs> we need more already perks, eight of them, to, to get a new emoji. Wow. I know. We're like, dang, they're really stepping up the game. They're like, are they? Does it mean the more, the more you get, the more you got to get? Yeah. Well, yeah. there's something wrong with that. So very wrong with that. <laughs> Well, anyway, most of the most of the beads came from the Santa Fe flea market, the Albuquerque flea market, mm -hmm. or eBay. Yeah, she was big into the eBay for a while. I was a little yeah. worried about her actually. Yeah, I think you had a little bit. Of an eBay. I, I was. I, I I had to go to. Um, I think this was pre Amazon. And, and living in Friona, Texas, you know, you you get. You get what you get. Yeah. yeah, and so, you know, eBay was, like, opening up <laughs> this whole shopping experience. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where I got all my jade. Yes. Straight from China. <laughs> so, there you go. All right, I am going to go back to the top side here. Okay. So. Size your Five by seven. Mm-hmm. Five by seven. Next. Paint. You're going to need paint. Yeah, and you, you don't, you, you don't need la di da but you do need some um, transparent and opaque if you can get it. Yeah. And if you, you're talking about transparent and you want a little bit of bling, how many of these do you get, Mariah? I mean, tons of them. Um, so that co that color change. Yeah, and these are all. That's the show art one, right? Transparent. You can see the lines. Yeah, in. anywhere for I, that one kit that, or the one set was 16. I, I mean, you can get them, but, and it was like um, $16, so that comes out to like a dollar per tube yeah. or whatever, yeah. something like that. I don't know, prices yeah. have probably gone up since we, in fact, I know they have. I think it's about $19 now. But. 
Yeah, and I'm going to use a lot of these today, just yes. to show you. Because you know, I requested that from her. I, I like them. I really like them. I just, you know, I right now I really have more paint than I need, and the reason I like the more expensive paint is because it actually you can kind of move quicker with it you, you don't could, have to you know yeah. you're not mixing it you're not worrying about all right do i need to add retarder to that that's sort of yeah thing. i i just i know how it works and i i've i've used it enough that i i really do appreciate that there is a difference in paint yes p did make everything that she is wearing well other than the silver she didn't you know smith the I, silver and these are from the 70s and i just noticed they're getting to be very they're um copper plated with silver uh hoops and i've had them for a long long time and they're wearing off in the back where my acid from my skin I can't wear i'm, I'm gonna hands. i'm gonna get some new hoops sometime soon <laughs> but right now i don't need that i need yeah. i i need art materials worse than i need jewelry i've got she jewelry really up the wazoo either. one um <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mo, Mo, put in the affiliate link. Because, yes, that's a great little starter set of apple barrel paints. Quite reasonable. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them other than they are opaque. You are going to want to add some kind of transparent paint, which is where the color change ones are quite nifty. Because then you get the sparkle, plus they are transparent for the most part. And you can mix them. And you can we're going to do them. some of that today. All right, so now we've kind of covered paint and then, you know, moving on up to like some of the, you know, a little bit nicer. And, and we have that list too. Um, we, we can kind of come, come back and makers. I am actually going to be posting all this as a blog. I haven't done that in a while over on our website, but I feel like a lot of this information is very um, important and it would be great for us to be able to send you guys, um, especially new people, or if you want to share it out to people, that is super duper awesome as well. But kind of have a one-stop place to go, hey, if you're getting started, here's some great basic information and some links to the products and things that we like and we very much appreciate you guys using our affiliate links. It's one other way to support us in all of our endeavors. Yes. And someday, you know, we might make money doing this. Who knows? Uh, but it's nice to have the little, you know, a little extra here and there. Next thing is a brayer. I can show you my, my lumpy brayer. Yeah, it's looking I, a little well, weird, isn't it? <laughs> what happened was, you know, some of that paint that I mixed up that of that I, I put something else in with it. And my it's facious. kind of no. It's see the little lumps there. Oh no, it, was it is my very lime, lumpy, limey green, and um, yeah. I wish you'd put some mineral oil on the edges of that little booger so it maybe wouldn't be so squeaky. Hello, Brenda. So glad you're here. Hey, Kylie. <laughs> okay, so. Well, I'm going to just retire this one and get a, one that's a little bit more. Yeah, less lumpy. And see, this one's ready to peel. I, it, it's, it's looking <sighs> mighty thick. Oh, are you going to... Oh, look at that. And this is a good... Look at all the good stuff I got on there. All right, yeah. hang out till the end. Maybe we'll peel the skin. It's always a good time. People love it. <laughs> I like it, too. She it does. She sat very satisfies something in me. I don't know. <laughs> you know, if you're a picker peeler. Picker peeler. That's a good... Next. Well, the brayer, let's talk a bit more oh. about that. It need, Yeah, it needs to be the soft rubber, not the hard rubber. Correct. Okay. And I would say, you know, if you're working on this size plate, a three and a half, four inch brayer, plenty big enough. Yes. Don't need to go for the big old guy. And don't it's, necessarily go down to that little one because... Yeah, I just use the little one more or less for effects and making stripes and... And if I want to, you know, muss stuff about on the plate and not have it all go together, I, I use that, but I don't use it very mm -hmm. often. So, yeah. You can also make this one go on the side. Yeah, make some lines. Yeah. That's what she's saying. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that kind of touches on the, the whole brayer situation. We really do like the speedball one. There are other options, but thank you, Mo. She went ahead and she put the links in. She's handling it. Yeah, and there off. is that one that goes comes hey, apart. Judy. Yeah. And I, I think that's not a good one. Uh, somebody, I can't Starcy. remember what, what yes, so it, it does cool. come apart, but it comes apart sometimes when you are not wanting yeah, it. Yeah, if to you're come a heavy brayer -er, <laughs> you may not want that one because supposedly, yes, it kind of pushes it out and pops off. Yeah, and I'm a heavy brayer sometimes. Mm -hmm. If you're doing certain techniques, you will want a heavy brayer. There yeah. you go. Paper. 
Now, paper, as we say, we always say, our number one favorite, 32 pound Hammer Mill Premium Copy. The one with the parrot on it. They've made the parrot less big now. They've changed up their packaging, but the parrot's still on there. Yeah. And um, then this is the, this is the Paycon. And that's the Paycon. And you can see, it's not brilliant white. Now, if you do want a, a brighter white one, I think that the Dick Blick version of the sulfite paper, which is what this basically is, because yeah. they are comparable. Um, and it's also cheaper. Just to be honest, the Dick Blick stuff is cheaper. You, you can get it, get more of it. Oh. I usually don't have, well, Yeah, we I don't have... place that many orders over there. I mean, I guess I could just go ahead and buy you a case of it and then we could be done with it. That probably would be smart in the long term. Yeah. Robin Alcorn would be very proud of us. Yeah. <laughs> She gets annoyed with us that we <laughs> order small batches. Small batches, yeah. It's like, okay. Mainly, it, 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 it's, a, it's a financial thing. It's, no, it's a convenience thing. It's really what it is. Yeah, and it, it's called... Uh, a space thing. Um, and where, it's where called free keep? shipping if you if you get yeah. it from uh, Amazon. And I don't know how much you have to order from Dick Blick to get a free shipping. I think 75. Yeah, Jerry is Artorama is certainly that way. I don't even know if Dick Blick has free shipping for a certain amount. Hmm. I can't remember that. Well, I'm so mad at them because they still owe me some pencils. That's right. Sam's do. They owe me drinks. <laughs> okay, so those are the basics. The bare minimum basics of things that you will need. Now, in addition to those things, some added products that are fun and helpful. Clear acrylic plate. These you can get from the hardware store. Some will cut to size, some have pre-cut sheets. You can even find, um, if, if you have uh, dollar stores or things of that nature around that have the plastic in like uh, picture frames, that will work. You want a clear, kind of thick acetate. Yeah, it doesn't have to be horribly, horribly thick. This is pretty thin. I would say this is like an eighth of an inch. Yeah. But you don't want it, you know, too thin because it's just going to be slicky and tricky. Yeah, and it's going to and it's gonna be flimsy. Go slicky, tricky, and flimsy. Flimsy. We don't want to hang out with those people. No. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> That's funny. A baron. Yeah, it's not necessary, but it sure is nice. Yes. And especially if you have, you know, um, issues with your hands. Which I do. She does. The paper just I, eats up some, all moisture and sh they get angry at her. Things, yeah. of, you know, things like that. Baron comes in very handy. Yeah. Plus, certain, again, certain techniques, like when you were doing the stencils and you want to really get in there, the ball of it, you can flip it if you have that style and get in there. The wider one's very nice because if you have a larger plate, kind of moves around a bit mm -hmm. more. And this is a little bit cushy. Yeah. So I can kind of tip this up on the edge and get into some areas that I can't with my wooden one. Yeah. Oh, and that's very good information. Um, it is Prime Day today, but Anna's saying multiple stores are having paper deals to coincide with Amazon Day. So check your office supply stores. Very good information. Oh. There you go, there you go. Dick Blick offers free shipping $79. Thank you, Ricky. So. Yeah. All good. I'm so glad you guys are helping us out. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Okay. Baron stencils. Now, of course we would mention stencils because, you know, we, we, we're kind of <laughs> yeah, biased we're, we're, on that. I, but... I'm very fond of my stencils. <laughs> As um, you know, they keep they keep us entertained. They keep you know that that is a one way. That is the main way we we get support through you know PM Artist Studio is by you guys buying stencils. Plus we like them. Like we like making our own designs. That was one of P's. That's why we started making yeah. our own stencils. Is because she what was said, out there and available. She's like it's not really my style. I, I don't I don't like it. it. It didn't work for me. Hey, and I will tell you this. Since we have started the stencil designs that we have, I feel like I see newer designs and things that would be more of our style that have come out. It's a nice way of me putting that. Anyway, yeah. What do you say. call those people? We're influencers. Oh, I that's think so, not sometimes. It. Yeah, it is. Is that the word? That's the word. Yeah. 
We're influencing the market. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Could be purely know, coincidental. Either. That happens as well. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, Sandra. So glad you're here. We are now on to retarder and extender. This may not be applicable to everyone. No. And especially if you live where... Um, Anywhere dry. Fran, if Fran lives in a wet climate where the humidity she, is like... She doesn't need... 89, 90% all the time. <laughs> you really... You probably don't. But the reason that you do need this is if you live in a climate like where we are. It's dry. The wind blows. Mm -hmm. And humidity can fluctuate between, I mean... 99 percent and almost oh like yeah and then 25. You know, even when you turn on the diffuser that makes a difference in here so there's some other ways that you can alter sort of the printing environment that may or may not affect i think um our, our friend julie there in australia remember she was talking about like, she didn't even think about because she would keep her window open and her paint would dry really quick she's like yeah, it's just you know simple things like that yeah that can have big effects on how you, you know, your general success with getting prints and, and certainly in, in the ways that you want to get prints. Absolutely. All right. So those are the supplies, the must haves, and then the additional little things that, you know, obviously make it a little easier and a little more yes, fun, perhaps. A little more fun. Now, I don't, you know, Mariah told me just to pull very simple prints to begin with. But, um, hey, 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 we're not done. Talking. Oh, we're not done? Our, that's Which not all the supplies. So ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. What is the condition of your plate, P? It's clean because I just cleaned it. <laughs> Oil that baby up and got all the goopies off the edge. Okay. With, with because, a nice yeah, clean cloth. With a nice clean baby wipe. You don't and you do this. need to make sure that you don't, you're not using stuff. Don't use those baby wipes that, um, are oh, dissolvable the, the flushables <laughs> because they start leaving little things all over your plate plant paste tinsel ones are very nice yes that has been we like those yes. and besides that you can use those um, if you s save them you can oh, cut them up and crochet one, with them see i need to add that to probably the must-haves because eventually you will need it mineral oil yeah i've got da, da, da. i'm gonna make that little note one moment oh, please yes that is and I love this stuff. This is food grade mineral oil. And I'm not even going to talk about the other stuff. There's, of course, you can just go to... You can go to the pharmacy. There are many, many options. This is what she loves. This is what we recommend. It has a nice little lemony smell. And you could use it on your cutting boards if you really want to. I actually even used it on Izzy because, you know, she had, like, oil pastels under her fingernails. And she thought, you know, she was bleeding to death or something. She really wasn't. She had been using the red oil for stuff. It was also very helpful in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> that and a toothpick and you can clean yes. up underneath the nails. I, I haven't really done that, but I kind of need to because I've been, mm -hmm. I've been uh, doing a lot of frotage. Lots of frotage around here. Okay, condition of light. What types and brands of paint will you be using, P? We are kind of going. I am going to be using the Apple Barrel and the Color Change by, I think it says Shuttle. Might okay. be Shuffle. <laughs> no, she calls it. It's, just, it's shuttle. She always says shuffle, shuffle, and that's why her brain is going there. Shuffle, shuffle. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read this very quickly. For those of you, I, I'm doing this purely just for the you know sound bites and things of that you know sort of business, and then we'll get on to just you know actually gel printing and going through it. Please get your <laughs> questions ready, all that business. But here we go. So. What types and brands of paint are you using? You will need some transparent paints, but if you only have opaque, then you can start with creating backgrounds to use when, the, when you have transparents to add layers. So that's kind of where we're gonna start out today. Note, all paints are different in how they brayer onto the gel plate, how quickly they dry, as mentioned in the supplies, how smoothly they present when pulled. Also, some prints are glossy, others, or paints, sorry, are glossy. Some are more matte. Layers can create pattern, 
visual texture, or both, depending on the stencil or implements used. A wall print is a good starting place. Pull about 500 of these, and we aren't joking, buy about two or three reams of paper. Because you, when you very first start, that's what it's going to take to get you where you're going. At this stage, you can experiment with colors on the plate, creating ombre colors, mixing in clear mediums, i.e. extenders, retarders, and pastos, to get the desired results. Use what you have. Now, pull another 500 prints. <laughs> you will be in the learning curve. And to save them all as, they, uh, as you can and as you will, as you, as you are printing, save them. Because what, what'll happen is you're going to, th this is your opportunity to, you know, in between prints, really study them. What's happening? What are you liking? What are you disliking? How did that happen? Because if you don't stop and, and analyze those things, you aren't learning. You are not then in the learning curve. You are just pulling prints and not a lot's probably going to change in your life, just to be honest very honest it just <laughs> At, it, it really it does take take a bit of of that and it, it's, it's not anything formal but at least you know pull 20 30 prints and then look at them yeah or pull five and look at them and say okay well what do I like here what do I not like here what am I doing what's not working it's not what you're doing wrong it's what's not working mm -hmm. because sometimes I will pull a print that didn't do what I wanted it to do, but it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Don't be afraid to go there. This is your time to do that. You're not under any obligation to anyone, or I don't think you are. Um, I don't know. Perhaps you could be. Uh, <laughs> I do not know what kind of arrangements you're no, making. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I should not presume that. Maybe you are on a timetable here. But, Maybe you um, promised somebody some prints. That I was too early. <laughs> I do know that I have much better results if I don't have concrete expectations. I do have expectations. I do have something that I really want to happen, but I'm not fearful of if it doesn't. Yeah. I just, I, I don't, I, I, you know, I, some, I will not say that because I have had little meltdowns where it's just like. Oh, she, she was going in a little. Oh, when my. When she first started, she'd just get real grumpy and kind of mope I know, not talk to days. anybody and, and, you know, be snarling. Mm -hmm. So, now, at this stage, once you've kind of mastered your paint, or, or, or a better understanding of the paint to plate, now you can start mixing in more things like. And we, what we kind of recommend is five to eight good stencils. You know, even two to three is great, especially if you have ones that are similar or ones that you can do the varying sizes. You're yes, going to get scale. a lot of value out of that. And I'm going to do that today. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start off with this one just because it's the size of my plate. And I think it's, it's a really beautiful little stencil. And I, I have used it for rubbings, but I haven't used it on the plate. All right, you've got to do backgrounds before you start busting into the oh, okay. stencils there, Lily. All right, won't let me do that. All right, well, let's just get after it. I, I'm real. I'm. I'm ready to She's do something tired of here. Listening to, I still got another paragraph to read. Well, just read it while I'm doing this. Mastering the amount of paint will save you a buku of money. It is important to consider the plate size, as we've mentioned in the supplies list, and you know, here before. Another factor in determining the amount of paint is whether or not you will be using a stencil. The type of paint can also play a part in how much paint you want to put on the plate. It is a good idea to take a moment and consider these factors before applying the paint. <laughs> there are paints that are drier and tend to have more matte finish to them. Learn to adapt to the condition along with the humidity from day to day. Because from day to day, what worked yesterday may not be the thing that works today. Take in consideration it is not necessarily you. It could just be a factor of the humidity. Ways to adapt. Add retarder. Work quickly. Brayer less. As a beginner, and even as you get better, it is better to err on the side of too much paint rather than have a dry pull. That means a print that does not come off of the plate. We joke and call them invisible. Yeah, or that. <laughs> this is something everyone must learn, and the only way to do it is to do it. 
Let's do it. Joe Printing has a journey. Take it. Take the side streets and avoid the interstates. The those in the moment decisions be good, be they good or bad. Remember, you are learning. And it is time well spent. Take moments between prints to analyze what is happening both on the plate and with the prints you pull. See, that was important because we said it twice. Listen to your inner muse. This is how you will develop both knowledge and distinctive style way of gel printing. I will have this up as a block so you guys can read this. Yes, read it over. Yeah. All right, well, you can see I put three blobs of paint out there. This is way more paint than I need here, especially that white. Okay, these are the same brands, but you can see the consistency is not the same. The viscosity. Viscosity is not. Let's use some technical yeah, terms let's like we know what we're doing. doing. Yeah, Hello, sure. Kayla. All right, <laughs> so you're just going to go ahead and rayer it on. Oh, I love this. You've never done this. Well, actually you have. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has been. And you can see I'm getting some kind of streaky, stripy things going on there. And I'm going to get rid of some of that over here. But I'm not worried about that because I'm going to use that piece of paper. I don't, I don't know. See, and I'm always worried she's going to overdo it because then you lose. She's just basically blending color and then it's all going to be the same. That isn't very interesting. That's my personal opinion. So nice to have somebody. Did I tell you that I pulled the transfer print the other day? I also had a baby. <laughs> and for some of you guys will know that that's a running joke. Yeah. <laughs> if you're enjoying this, please do give thumbs the upsies. Ooh, a weird kinda, line there. Yeah, but I kind of like it. It's sort of like a starry sky kind of beginning sort of thing. Maybe. Well, and with this cheap paint, you get a bit of the crazing. I mean, you just do. Well, and yours has been sitting there a little while. Has been, and you know, I probably I mean, was guilty of not mm -hmm. shaking it nearly enough because I, I haven't used these for a long time. Well, let's try to replicate that, okay? We'll use a little less white. Oh, and then... um. Judy, I, I, I know that you had asked about, yeah, the retarder. Is there something else that you can use? Hey, that U.S. Art Supply is a very economical oh, yeah. option. Um, all the brands have some type of retarder or extender. And, and you don't need to use Golden Brand. They have one. And a little I don't, bit goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. Now, the Impasto will provide similar, right? Because it thickens. Not only does it thicken it up. But it kind of extends it. it well, it, it extends your paint, obviously. But um, the other thing that your, ex, your the impasto does is it thickens it. So if you've got some really loosey goosey paint, you can thicken it up a bit. Now I'm going to try to get that same amount out there that I have on the other, so we can kind of see what's going on here. But you notice they're very that? matte. They're not mm -hmm. hey, Tam. glossy. They're glossy when we put them down there, but by the time we get through, we're trying to, gonna get, a, trying to get a really nice ombre effect here. Don't want to linger on this stuff because this paint is very, it dries quickly. And Gayla has a good little thing here. She says, I heard the other day they said, I don't know who's they, is it, was it us? If it, if it was, that was really great advice. I heard the other day, and they said one important thing as you work is to build your ability to dis ability to ability for decision making, to do decision making. Yes. Yes, on the fly. On the fly. <laughs> okay. Oh goodness, the kitty's the, the kitty's loose. Hello, kitty. <laughs> is he right there looking mm -hmm. at you? Well, oh yeah. yeah, swooping in. Swooping in. All right, now you can see. Yeah. I, I don't really know what that streak was. It could have been on the plate. I don't know. Well, I think you brayered that in. Could I, have. I feel like that was more of a Mariah says I brayered it in. All right, we're going to let those dry. And now what do we do? What's next? Carla. Why well, you're just building backgrounds? Show just little, building backgrounds. And, and show a little bit of play, like some of the things that you're going to try to achieve. 
Okay, well now here, here is a Martha Stewart, and I know this came out of the 99 cent bin because we've had this around. I better shake the crud out oh, of Oh yeah, it gets really weird and goopy. Like a weird goopy. But don't be afraid to buy those in the in the bin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't really like Martha's. She has a very wide orifice. Her paint. Oh, the, the Mondo Llama, I think, is the ones that um, Anne gets at Target that have cool names. But they're very reasonable and have cool names. <laughs> yeah. And you can, you know, at this point we're here, you can take as much time as you need to, to, you know, get, oh, wow, that white is really gushy-gushy. It is. Hmm. All right, well, we'll get some of that brayered out here on the bottom. All right, I'm getting the cat out of here. He's, you know, making me nervous. <laughs> I shall be right back. <laughs> Oh, I may have some weird stuff on my, I mean, my prayer may be kind of, but see, see that right there, that spot? And then I don't know what that is. Pepper. Hmm. I don't know. Now, you saw how much paint I put on there, and I'm trying to get this very smooth. And I don't have Mariah over there yelling at me to not overbray her. Oh, she, she's back. back. I heard that. You're over break. All right, can you see the streaks in there? Now I'm not putting any pressure on at all. I'm just allowing the... I'm allowing the weight of the brayer to... Um, can I do anything to that? Do I have to pull that like that? I'll do something to it. Fine. So you can use many home, you know, just combs. Um, this came with um, our little gift from the gel press people. It did. So you can buy ones. Or, yeah. yeah, and it's really cool. And I'll show you what else I use that little hummer for. <laughs> Good. It has more than one purpose. It does. I, I'm a big fan of tools and appliances having more than one purpose. Otherwise, it's kind of like, why are you here? Ice cream maker. <laughs> oh, she's such a snotty person sometimes. <laughs> hey, now look at that. That's some cool stuff. And all of this. <laughs> Hello, Diane. She says, and yes, you may have something stuck in your brayer. <laughs> I think I do. I don't know what the deal is. Hey, but I, should, I as long as I don't push on it, it seems to be okay. Yeah, it, it's telling her no heavy brayering. Don't. I don't think I, I can't see anything. Of course, that doesn't mean anything okay. either. No. Okay. All right. What else? Let's try a little purple. This is really kind of fun. Just haven't had a, a play date with my... Yeah, just keeping it simple. You're always yeah doing the more complex see, stuff. See, that's what happens when the air conditioner comes on. She just thinks that's all. I just think this is... She's very entertained by that. I am. Well, I'm easily entertained, period. That's probably enough paint out there. Let's just do some more... Actually, some more um, swirly poop-doos with our hoop-de-doo. <laughs> swirly doos with your hoop-de-doo. Hey, now that's, that's just a little bit transparent. That's actually a whole lot of transparent. And that was straight from the... I know. I, I, I mean, I didn't overly shake it. Oh, I'll have to look at it and read it, but not, now is not the time. Now, here's one of the deals, and why he was saying earlier that those paints were crazy and doing the separating thing. Uh, a lot of times that will happen when the, I guess it's the binder medium that's in there holding the pigments that has separated out. It is what actually kind of does the, you know, crazy on the plate. Now, see, this doesn't tell you. And this is where you, when you get into your more expensive paints, they will tell you. So basically, here's, here's. Let me have that and I'll shake it up some more and we'll see. Shake, shake it, shake. The, shake, shake. Shake. <laughs> shake your paint. And here's why you like this. You can turn it over and look at it. She didn't have that when she first started. Probably would have uh, moved her learning curve up a bit. Eight whole lot. <laughs> Be 
because you never knew what was on the other side. Now, I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this. I think it also helps teach your brain what to, because it, it's very tricky to think about things in the reverse order. It certainly is, and I, and especially if you're someone like me, and I, I have trouble, you know. Actually, she still does it. We've got some streams I'll show you. <laughs> you remember that sea scene? The what? And those butterflies. Oh, yeah. Hey, but that turned out it okay. It was totally good sick. It, but. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we did, we did have a bit of a moment there. Okay, I need to clean All off right, my here. tool. That's fairly well shaken. All right, let's try it again. As this is the other thing, and I think, Mariah, don't, do we have these on, I mean, I don't know how, how they're presented. I, I just know I get them from Mariah when I, when, she, when I say, hey, can I have some of those stripey things? <laughs> okay, this is, maybe the decision making here is deciding what is stuck on P's brayer. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Izzy has been very busy. She has this hair thing that's around here, or hair things. And it has started to shed all over the house. I, like, I'm finding it everywhere. I told her that this was going to happen. I don't, I don't think it's anything on there. I think I was just, you know, doing some. All right, okay. so here's your little, your little thing, because I have it on all of these. In some form or fashion. In some form or fashion. So <laughs> let's just test this out, you know, and see. Yeah. See, that's different already. I can... Yeah. So it hadn't been shaken well. All so right. hey, that's one way to get transparent paint. Let your paint settle. <laughs> well, it is, but then at some point you're going to have to deal with, oh, it is, it, even though it, it does. Oh. All right, this is great. Do you saw how much I put out there? Look what's happening. Yeah, she's just bringing it off. You can actually take paint off of your and it's just one way to clear your plate. I mean, you know, <laughs> you don't put enough on, you're just bringing it, you're just pulling it off. There you go. That no, was a really good lesson. No, good that job. was a really good, yeah. But t go go to our, what is it, the on? Yeah, Mo just, yeah, just put the link in. Yeah, just put the link in. That's awesome. Thank okay. you, Mo. Thank you. Ow. Sugar. I didn't say anything bad. I know, but I, I feel felt like, like if if I hadn't done that, then there would have been something we needed to bleep or whatever. At least it was my good good knee, not my bad one. Well, now I you want to keep digging up the, the bad one. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, now here's another thing that I love about these these crack, cracker barrel, <laughs> apple barrel, is that you can mix them, and you can really. I mean, it's it's kind of fun. You know, you can ombre the crap out of them. Izzy's very fond of this color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she painted a new shirt today. And, uh... Oh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about, um... Okay, actually, there's a few things. We are still working on the heads. P's gonna show hers and where it is at currently. It's so cool what she did to it. I'm very excited about that. Um, and then when we show that, I also wanted to show the dragon. I brought the dragon up. So, keep, you know, remind me, guys, that we'd like to do that, show you where the foam heads and dragons are at. But those of you that have already started posting for um, July's Maker, Maker's Creative Collab, I'm just loving it and getting inspiration because I haven't really done anything with mine. I think I have finally sort of settled on something. Hopefully I can get some time to come up here and do it. That's the next bit. That's the next bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll just talk about it on a video. Does that count? <laughs> hey, you're supposed to be YouTubing. I am. That I'm means you've got to make it on a video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, that's true. Like a presentation of my idea. <laughs> that may or may Power. not happen. PowerPoint. I don't, no, I, don't have PowerPoint. I don't have time for that. But anyway, I'm very much enjoying those. You guys are rocking it. And um, we've had a oh, good handful of people that have entered the giveaway. All of that information is over there in Makers. If you want to know more about it, you need to be 
a member. Yep, there you go. See how queued it up. Awesome. The Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. Please answer the questions. I have now turned on an automatic. It will not let you in unless the answers to the questions, unless I happen to just see it in between, and then I kind of investigate you. That could happen, but it is on automation to kick those back and request the answers to the questions. I just love this That's thing. very I trippy. I don't know where this thing's been. It's, well, it probably was in the texture box or whatever. I mean, okay. Now, I want to talk about this because you saw what colors I used here. Weird colors together. Just to kind of break up the monotony of just one, you know, I keep, I keep telling my kids at school, you're not painting walls. You don't care if it's all the same color because, I mean, I had some kids in there that, I mean, they could... Do Neither some one wall be solid block. And solid block of color. <laughs> and they were dang proud of it. Too. Did you see this, miss? <laughs> so, use some weird colors together. This is the time to experiment. Let's use some orange and. Oh, let's find some blue on my thing here. Where are you, blue? You're behind the stencils. <laughs> Okay. Hello, Janet. So this is always a good combo. Anytime that you're mixing complementary colors, something interesting is going to happen. A lot of times it's going to be brown. Or gray. Or gray. Or, you know, anywhere in between. Kind of. Something neutral. Something. <laughs> yeah. Like, and if your orange has a lot of yellow in it, you're probably going to get some kind of. Greeny. Greeny stuff going on here. I don't like that as much as the last one. But who knows? And maybe if you kept enough of that um, teal color, let's hope so. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of poopy. Let's don't judge. Be judgy. <laughs> We're learning what colors to put together and what mm -hmm. colors not to put together. And how much brayering to do. And don't leave your brayer sitting down like that because it gets stuck and then you will have a funky line in it. Um, roughly how much is an acrylic plate? Oh, um, because we buy the whole big sheet and then have them cut it. Brad might be able to answer that a little bit better because he's the one that goes to the hardware store. I mean, I was there too, but I don't remember. <laughs> She had the baby. Uh, yeah. She tends to really. <laughs> and man, she loves the artwork. Oh, she's very dangerous She's there. over in the paint section, you know. Anything for samples. Yes. Yes. She came home with linoleum samples one day, mm -hmm. and I was like, what are you going to do with those? I don't know, Gigi. Aren't they cool, though? Okay, well, that, you know, okay. Here we are. This isn't really fabulous by awesome. any stretch of the imagination. But in a minute, I'm going to show you what you can do. Once that gets dry, we're going to do some wonderful things to that. Okay, now what? I'm just really wishing I had still the pukey face emoji <laughs> for that one. <laughs> the pukey. Yeah, that's okay. I know you're going to make it wonderful. She I always will. does. I will. Well, not always, but, or she'll cover it up. Yeah. Just so. Can you say Jessa? Oh, man, look at that. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, I did. Wasn't she that? just thinks that's so wonderful. It's just so... I just love it. All right, we're just going to have a little bit of blue here. And as you can see, it is opaque. But the opaqueness on these, really, it it's not like totally. <laughs> okay, now, I'm no, no pressure. No pressure. And down there. And let's use the little end. Ooh. Now, see, the next kind of next level situation would be like you could let something like that dry on the plate and then come back and pull it with a different color. So. You know, yes, I could have. I'm, I'm going to do one of those. Okay. Or I've got some over here already done that we could, oh, and look and see it's pulling up some of the mucky muck from before. Right. Because, yeah, that's some great things, too. Like, once this dries, you could actually print on top of it. Which or, we, yeah. 
then do let's, like what yeah, we're saying. With let's get some. Stuff. Let's get something on here. Now, the reason that this is very cool and you want to think about it is what goes down now is what's going to be on. What's what you see? Right. Because this is the bottom layer. So let's use some of our purple that we just discovered was like semi-transparent and uh, do some wavy designs in it and, and leave it on there and pull it with another color. I think that'll be fun. And this paint does dry pretty rapidly. Yeah. That, that's what you've noticed. I, I'm not dilly-dallying here. I'm not lollygagging and, you know, smoking cigarettes and drinking beer. I'm getting on with it. Ooh. It's very trippy. Yeah, you probably want to do a little wipey wipey over comb, otherwise it probably gets although I guess you can pick the what, yeah, what do you call it? Comb comb trophies. Comb <laughs> I don't know. Trinkets. Comb, trophy. comb trinkets. Trinket. What is with you? I don't know. I'm just all right, now here's something Ooh, that we've already done. Please don't mess that up. What? You no. don't want me to pull this one. I do. I just don't want you to mess it up. Oh. <laughs> God, I'm going to throw something at you. Because I really like it. It's very pretty. And it's still going to be, no matter what I do. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I, I am thinking... I'm going to use some. Now, I, I can get away from my paints that I'm already using. I could use my opaque paints to pull this with. I think you should. Because then that kind of shows you, you know, that's one more thing that you know, they, they do for mm -hmm. you. That they do for you. All right, so then we need to talk about this. Let's turn our plate over so that we know what we're getting here. This is pretty dark. So I'm thinking a light color. Maybe even... Well, this? or we could have, are you guys ready to move on? I mean, we've shown kind of, that is the very basics. You need to pull a lot of those prints with just playing with the opaque paints if that's what you have. Or if you wanted to maybe do some, I'm just going to stick with that. I'm just going to. <laughs> and I, I don't, you know, I, I like this. Look at this color here. I like this. Like this, I'm not a big. I just think of hospitals when I look at this color. It is, I cannot get away from thinking or, about hospitals. Or remember when they painted the elementary school that color? I think they got a deal on that. I yeah. don't know. That was the only thing I was like, <laughs> why else would you use something like that? Well, it's better than when they painted the high school all red and everybody was all they like, amped up. Yeah. Hey, color a Angry people running around. All right, I'm using plenty of paint here simply because I want to make sure there's a little bit of texture on my surface there. So I want to use a little bit more. I want to gently, 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 gently distribute that paint. I am not putting any pressure on this at all right now. Get a little bit off. Oh, Diane cut her own. Good for you, Diane. She did what? They do have a tool because Brad cut um, some of ours that like the bigger sheets and he was able to cut it down so they have a specialty tool but you know it's kind of tricky and slightly dangerous. I figure if you can have the people at home you know at the hardware store cut it. Oh yeah come on. That, that's pretty much it. Now like I said some hardware stores already have a certain size. They had the what was it 11 by 14 and then we brought that home and Brad cut it. Okay, I need hey, to interrupt and I need to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. You want to make sure that you have your edges because that's where it's going. It's going to dry from the outside in. So make sure that you have those edges really firmly down there. If they lift up, you're not going to get the corner. Get down on it. Get down on it. Now that look at that. Lovely. I think that's really quite. And nice. that color, so that was the apple barrel one, right? That was apple barrel. It's in very similar to that celery Lucas, shoot. The Lucas Curl Fern. She calls it celery shoot. No, that's what these people oh, that's, call it. Oh, okay. Fern <laughs> and look. I mean, 
you add a little white to this baby and this is exactly the same thing and let me tell you what the price was a lot different yeah but you have to order all of these right no i think you can get individual i think open stock? but usually the deco arts are in, in yeah just buy the whole thing in pallets, all right now we're going sets. to allow this to ripen that means i'm going to allow it to dry so it can get all sucked up there yeah, so that's one thing that I think somebody had asked about or, you know, what's the reasoning about leaving the the paper on there and letting it all dry. That's You're so allowing cool. that, l that layer that Pete just put down, the wet paint, to adhere to the dry image, the dry paint on the plate, and then all dry together to the paper then you can get those clean folds. Good explanation. Thanks. I've been working on it. Because people okay. ask. <laughs> We've got a couple of strippers here that I did last week. She's referring to the stencils. Those are technically not strippers. Those are cape rocks that are kind of, you know, they, oh, what is it? They pre, they were. Cape rocks and stompy rocks. Yeah, they were before strippers. Yeah. But there are, they come like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, already we have a, an opaque paint down here. That tur turquoise is opaque. So, there's not going to be a whole lot that's going to be shining through there. Excuse me. So, we don't really care. I just, I picked this Martha out. It's a little bit different purple. Not a lot. But it's got a different word on here. Multi-surface satin. Now, so that means it's going to have a slight gloss to it, I'm thinking. Yeah. But the only place that it's going to show through there, which this might be kind of cool because this is very matte, the turquoise. And I don't know what the pink is there. That was just something that's left on there. I don't know. Uh, Brenda says, I noticed when you apply paint side down to paper, you get more creases than applying the paper to top of the paint. Oh, you're talking about flipping flipping your board? Oh, like when, whenever you're stamping it into and trying to register something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, it does get tricky. And, you know, I don't do that terribly often just simply because I don't really care. Um, but. Hello, Marlene. Welcome. Um, yeah. Good point. Okay. I'm going to use two drops of this that probably that's more than I need. Shake it back in there. Ow. Like I said, Martha's orifices are kind of large. Er. I'm sure she might take offense to that. <laughs> I also think that Martha's paint, when it says multi-surface, that, you know, keep in mind, you know, that Martha, she's a crafty girl. Um, so that means that your paint probably could be used on, like, furniture and things of that nature. Or it was more... They kind of had... Decor rather yes. than just... Yeah, they weren't Ooh, meant for... I, I think that's going to be lovely. But we don't want to dilly dally. Get your paper down. Hey, Judy, three. Go three, around three. and do your edges. I'm so glad that you said hello and hello, Mary Ellen. I'm so glad you guys oh, are here. I and those know. Of you I'm, that I'm are coming in. Hearing some names I haven't heard for a while. Oh, I know, Judy, three, three, three. Ooh, there. Ooh, that's fun and kind of '80s like. Hey, Diane. And we'll be able to tell about the satiny stuff in a short amount of time. All right, now here we go. We've got some metallic with a little bit of leftover something or other on there. Can't remember exactly what it was. Groovadelic, I like that part. Yeah. So what are we gonna use? Ooh, hot pink or something. Love some hot, hot pink and pink. green. Ooh, what about the piggy pink? In oh, the deco. Pepto. Yeah, but she calls it Pepto. I don't know what his actual name is. <laughs> we call it Peggy. Well, I've got this. This is more of a raspberry. Well, that's, that's more teenagery pink. I don't know. Izzy may have uh, absconded with the pink absconded paint. Absconded with the pink paint. I'm not <laughs> saying. Uh, should we be worried? I'm not seeing that. <laughs> it's getting here. painted pink. <laughs> I'm just seeing a lot. What of... about at the top? No, I don't put stuff up there. That's just my extras. Oh, okay. That haven't been opened. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. 
Hey, I like that. That's actually quite nice. Okay, now this actually says gloss. Oh. So, and this is Apple Barrel. I want this. Cobalt Blue. And does Apple Barrel have transparent? I'm sure that they probably do. One of you guys let us know. I'm sure that you guys know. Yeah, I don't know. But we don't really care. We, no. we don't really care here because, boy, I'm getting a lot of. Oh, no. Can't do that. Oh, Joni wanted you to use red. Oh, red. She just love some murdery. Look at that little bubble. <laughs> That's big bubble. Oh, my goodness. Right, careful, because it's popping. Oh. And yeah. you'll end up with. Yeah, I know. I was going to send it across, and it could get in the camera. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's Special probably. Special effects, and then I have to probably the camera lens. Way more paint than I probably need there, but oh, well, we'll just bray it off. Remember, best to err on the side of too much, especially if you're dealing with something that already has. I felt my brayer go over that edge, so I'm just cleaning it up ahead of time. Oh, I think this is a beautiful color. Now, one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're pulling these prints like this, see how you can now see the image through there. Are you just going to remove all the paint? No, I'm not. Okay. You just shush. <laughs> you can still kind of see it through there, so it's not like 100% opaque. But even if it is like really opaque, you want to get it to the point where you can still see almost the, the image will, will have a slight raised you will still see the image you will otherwise you probably have too, too much. much paint on there it's and you're not going to you can leave it on there i mean i've done that before and you just have a lot of paint that you're having to pull up yeah it, it can it causes some issues with you know getting it all a drawing all evenly it can cause rippling in your paper it can cause separation of the paper, so that's why you want to get that nice thin layer there. Yeah, plus it dries fast. Yeah, <laughs> it's also helpful. There is that. There's that. <laughs> All right, well, let's go back to this dude here, who's dry. Now we get to decide what to pull it with. Oh, orange. I, I vote orange, personally, or red. I, I'm really, okay, now we have some choices here. We've got, um, we've sort of got peach, we've got I think this one is actually called jack-o-lantern. We have kind of in between here, which is like a yellow orange. I have the jack-o-lantern. Like orange, orange. Orange, orange? Orange, orange. Orange, oh, orange. Joni says orange too. Okay, orange, orange. It is. It's kind of like cheddar. This is similar to cheddar. It's a little higher a little, aroma. Yeah, a little brighter, but you can make cheddar from this. You certainly can. We have, we, we've done that. We have done it. I say we. I help. I give input. <laughs> right? Babe. Yes, absolutely. Nothing done at PM Artist mm -hmm. Studio is a single... Um, well, anything to do with the computer, actually, Ex it is. <laughs> exactly, Gayla. She says, I started with Apple Barrel Paint. It helped me afford a lot of colors I could play with. That is exactly right. And you will be then more comfortable with understanding those color mixes. That is exactly right. And then she worked her way up to the golden. Because you will. You'll find that you have certain color preferences. And you're going to be able to discover that, and you won't be, you know, stocking up on a whole bunch of colors that you're not even going to use. Yeah. Now, that isn't true. I use almost everything I've got. Ooh, that's so cool. I, yeah, I think that would be cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, we've got one more. Well, actually, we've got two more here. That That is also a very good point. So, um, Mo says that her too, and, and that it makes you appreciate the difference in the amount used and the pigment yet yeah, you start to understand the paint and it's kind of like if you can really if you can master the opaque paints you're only gonna be that much better when you start being able to then put transparent colors in with which it. we're going to do we could do that well let me get something down here because I, we're, we're kind of on a roll here okay 
And I'm going to try not to use so much paint. So, Diana, very good question. Um, she says, do we use all brands of paints from craft to high end like golden? Or is it just an experiment today? So, yes. One of the reasons that we have a lot of these apple barrel paints is because that's what P started with, too. Yeah. And then we've also played with a lot of those, understanding, you know, the difference between um, apple barrel, deco arts, and even paper artsy. Which paper artsy, even though it's kind of a crafty paint, the price of it is not. It's very, you know, high end as far as the pricing is concerned. Um, but there's a lot of similarities between those in their opaqueness and how they act on the plate, things of that nature. Paper Artsy even has some, they, they sent us some, some transparent paints. But yes, they all have a place and use what you have. T today is all about kind of like getting through the basics. Yeah, of and the that's, gel frame. I, I just want to show you that, you know, oh. Oh yeah, and the apple barrel work great as a pull layer. That is exactly right. It really does. And and I mean, sometimes I won't have a color mixed up <laughs> that I want, and I will just pull that in. Because I'm going to show you in a minute what else you can do do with that paint. Okay. that's, that's jo Joni has a very good point I would like to read out. Apple okay. barrel paint can go bad. If it smells weird, throw it out. Now, we've not thrown ah, it out. She keeps using it, and it is disgusting. It, sm and it smells like, like puke. But I, at the time, I didn't have anything else. So, you and know, it was like, like her paint was well, old. Poop. I'm going to use it. And I would get mad at her because I'm like, would you please stop using that when I come up here? <laughs> oh. Yeah. It, 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 it does have a shelf life. <laughs> it doesn't if really bother smell, me. I don't, you know, I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> it's like my sister says about sour cream. She says, you know, how can it go bad? It's already bad. You know, that's how it was badder. Made. No, that's how it was made. The sour cream is badder. I'm thinking when it has green stuff and whatnot on it, you should probably stay away from it. Oh, yeah. All right, you can just scrape it Start off. Start making cheese. <laughs> what kind of smell? It Like, it, it smells like puke. Puke. Really. Vomit. Mm -hmm. I still have some over there. <laughs> What's I'm saving it. Just, Judy? Just, in, just in case, <laughs> you know. We'll put it in those little ziploc -y bags like they send, you know, um, like perfume sample things in. <laughs> we'll put some water. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm getting that weird thing out there. I, don't know. I do not know. Maybe you have some kind of funny bubbles in there. Oh, be a little careful about that. What? Uh, Diana, she says, that is the funniest emoji of pee on fire. Yes, that's our new one. Ooh, and see now it left some stuff behind. Because it was drying quickly. It was drying quickly. I, I was kind of, but look at that swoop up there. Isn't that yeah. cool? I mean, talk about some optical illusion going on there. Oh, my God. And then one of the other things, like, it, if you are starting out and, and you're pulling your first 500 prints, one of the other things is so that way you feel comfortable and you can start using them in whatever makes, you know, mixed media projects you're doing. Remember, something like what P just pulled is awesome for sprays. Sprays yeah. can be made from watercolors. You can just apply the watercolor to it. You want to make sure that that's all dry before you start doing that because it, it's all water soluble. And so if it isn't fully, fully dry, you might have some issues. But just Now, you saw how long we did this at the beginning. This was the first mm -hmm. one. This is one of the first ones we did. Yeah. Um, if it's exactly the first one that I put over here to, to dry. But I think it's really... I think it's cool looking, mm -hmm. and it is dry. It's pattern at play. Yeah. So we can add some other things on top of this to even do a cool effect. I, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a cool effect. I don't know. I, I but think we're going to try it. We, we have covered the basics. All right, so, so now, okay. If you're going to buy um, a metallic paint, I don't think you need this. You don't. I, I like the others just as well. The deco art. The deco art. I just, I'm using this because I know it's very, very transparent. I got it on sale. And 
and uh, it has little balls in it and you do want to make sure that you really shake the bejesus out of it because it it the top part of it will be really yes those are watery those are great for gel printing heather lots of um cake decorating stuff is great for gel printing yeah and this is very loosey-goosey so you want to like move along even some of the rubbery stuff you can kind of stamp into like that um well i think um fran she got that one i think that that's used to make like polymer clay stuff but it was kind of rubbery and she uses a stamp but i think you could jump you could stamp it in the jump plate as well I, yeah I, I mean i don't know why not <laughs> alexi went to go smell her paint this is mine all smell great even the chunky ones i'm oddly disappointed <laughs> <laughs> you mean the cottage cheesy ones <laughs> we will send out samples to you guys <laughs> really want the Put a tiny little bit Ooh. of gloss on there. A, a glaze. A glaze. A glaze of copper. And I think that's really nice. This will be a nice one to to um, send to people in the... Uh, oh, yeah. You know, when we do the whatever that is. All right. Now, Mariah was poo-pooing this. We've got, to, we've got to pull this off. I mean, I've got to redeem myself. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I really like the underneath stuff, and I want that to show through. So I want to use a transparent paint. Now, here's the other thing. Once you put these up, take and wipe its little nose, because that little hole there clogs. Yeah, and you notice me digging it out with my fingernail? Well, well if you take care of it, you don't have to do that. Wipe your noses. Yeah, wipe their noses. Okay, so... I'm thinking, I am thinking. What are you gonna amp up on it? I'm going to use my stencil. Oh. And stencil this over the top of it. Okay. Now, I'm not going, I'm going to go ahead and, and do, um, I want, I want a lot of it to come through. So I'm going to not do this part. I'm not going to pull the first layer. I'm going to put it down on the second so I get you more stuff. You need to stuff. move quickly. Yes. I need to move quickly. And I'm probably using a little bit more paint than I would normally use simply because she I would needs. like to have a nice, really... Plus, you're using a stencil. And you're using a stencil. Because some, see, a lot of it's going to get, or not, well, a decent amount of it is going to get stuck to the stencil. Yes. You but, need it to leave, because that's what she's wanting, is the stuff that's going to be behind the stencil right now. So this is a pick up through the stencil. Pick up through the stencil. Move quickly. Move quickly. It's metallic. It's drawing. It's metallic. And it's we're drawing. In Texas. And you were in Texas. And we want to flip this over because I do want to get it down. Yeah. Boom shakalaka. Boom chakalaka. So these are like what? So two. Th this is the second layer on that that print, which is a pretty. You know, these are these are not terribly technical. No, and I don't. I don't know that I love this yet, um, but I am going to allow that to dry completely. I can spray it. And make so it that wonderful. I, <laughs> she loves it when I say that. I, I do. I I just freaking love it. Okay, so let's do. Um, Oh, um, while we have a little break in between here, do you want to show your head, or should we just do that at the end? I think we should just do that at the end. Yeah, let's stay uh, on I'm kind of on a yeah. Yeah, on a don't roll. don't be breaking my stride. I wouldn't think of it. Sorry, yeah. it was just me thinking out loud. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm coming over here, and I'm going to try to find. Okay, can you see that? That means it's fairly, it's half and half, but it's pretty transparent. If I wanted to make this even more transparent, 
I could add a dab of um, just glossy gel. Yeah. But I, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Did you say glossy gel? Glossy gel medium. Mm. Glossy gel medium. Okay, now I'm going to try something a little bit different on this one. Where's my dad's new stencil? Now, please note the reason that she has this one is because it was um, a little wonky cut, which was my fault because I didn't line it up properly. Again, I'm kind of pushing with the edge of this brayer because remember, this is a little bit cushy. Trying to get it into the holes. I go back in and I can feel where it is. I hope I've matched it up to the, oh, fairly well. <laughs> fairly. Fairly. I could have turned it over, but it's a little difficult when you've got the stencil. Yeah, you don't want it flopping off. Because the stencil is going to flop off on you and cause some issues. Because it's not suctioned on there like it would be if you were putting it direct to the plate. That's right. Ooh, I love this idea. Make this happen. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, trippy. Boy, this is some 60s hallucinogenic stuff we got going on here. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that great? I mean, really, yeah, those are wonderful colors. All right, I'm going to let this dry because I can pull this with something else after it's dry. Heather, I'll send you an invite. What, what are we inviting? To Makers. Oh, here, we can pull this. Okay. This is my six by eight. Oop. Is it ready? Oh, crack them edges. Well, we need to crack some edges, because remember, I think we pulled quite a... <laughs> we're just having flashbacks. We're, we're, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think there was quite quite a bit of a layer around the edge there, just because... Well, you needed it to adhere to the paint. I did. Because it was already dry. It was already dry. I'm really loving, uh, did I see Gayla's suggestion? Oh, we need a Mariah primer program on sprays. Well, like what? What do you mean? What, what do you want to know? Like, any of our process videos, I've probably sprayed something. <laughs> and even a few live streams, she's allowed me to spray some things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, you know, uh, most of the time, the reason she sprays stuff, now see, that was the edge of the thing hanging out there, and I, I've got some here now, which I will. I'm just going to remedy that. I will remedy that right now. That's the best time to do that is when you notice it, because that is going to build up there until it reaches critical mass, and what it will do is it will tear your paper as you start pulling it up. Yeah. Yeah. Or come off on the one print you didn't want it to. You didn't want it to. I Sometimes I do. I just let it build up and build up and build up and then pull off fabulous print but usually what I'm doing is I'm making backgrounds for um, like when I was doing uh, the little things that I cut up and put the packets I make mm -hmm. and I will just go ahead and let that build up because I don't really care it's you know it's it has a character yeah it's kind of cool in, in that but on this I would really like for this to be a rather pristine print and you oh. can see Okay. What? what Gayla what? doesn't. She she doesn't use spray. To review would be really would really help her out. Oh. Well, my favorite sprays like if you don't have any. Well, there's a couple things. If you don't have sprays, what do you have? Do you have watercolor crystals? Yeah, you can solubilize those and that's a really great way to start and put them in a little old cheap spray bottle from you know because even the ones that I do really like, which are the Lindy's, I like those um, spray key secrets I've learned over time. Yeah, so I really like the Lindy's. I like that they come in sets and they're very reasonable. Buying them individually, they're a bit pricey, but I think that's kind of true of any of them. If you want a heavy pigmented, cool, oh, Joni, welcome to Mucky Muck. 
um, we will get you a code. Uh, Joni's in our group, so I'll, I'll text you or message you, sorry, on Facebook with your with your promo code. But the the sprays, like the Seth After ones, the eye zinc ones, are highly pigmented. They have a very bold color to them. Sometimes a little much, if you ask me. That's one of the reasons I like the Lindy's. They come in a powder. You add the water. You can, you know, kind of start out a little bit more. You know, like they, they're, I don't fill them up as much. And then I kind of add more water to them over time. So, and what's kind of nice is like Susan Taylor Brown, she sent me all her empty bottles, which weren't like totally empty. Like she hadn't cleaned them, which was fantastic. So P and I spent the day just we had a great time. messing about with them, mixing things. I mean, we end up she's terrible. She can mix terracotta like twenty million times. <laughs> I like terracotta. If you want a terracotta, I'll send you one, Gayla. <laughs> we have four, I got a few. Fourteen versions of terracotta. Yeah. <laughs> They're all slightly different, but basically terracotta. <laughs> All kinds of ways. Yes, to be funny, and I know I'm so good at that them was, all. That was that was what I was thinking. <laughs> yes, the That's starburst what are right. leaped to mind right away. Okie dokie. <laughs> all right, we need a transparent turquoise, and I don't really. Oh yes, I do. Oh yeah, there you go. Food coloring. Ooh. Food coloring. Yes. I mean, anything that's going to add a little pigment, keep in mind some of it's going to be color fast and some of it, you know, isn't. I, I don't, you know, I have things that have really, really faded, but that's fine. Okay, this is my six by eight and I don't want to do that. So, what do we, do we have one empty here? Well, this has got a little bit of mucky muck on it. Yes, if you let them evaporate a little bit, you can control the saturation. Easter, Easter egg dye. Perfect. Yes. So, once again, yeah, don't spend a ton of money on them until you know that you might quite like them. I, I, I don't, I love I don't like them. I love them. Now, the ones that I don't really care for, and it's not that I don't like the sprays themselves, it's more about the spray bottles, are the Delusions ones. Yeah, they, with the sparkle stuff in it and that really has everything to do with the mica gets stuck up in them you're supposed to clean them out a lot of high maintenance this is why I don't dry clean I don't need high maintenance I got other things to do in my life yeah 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 okay this has got a little bit of stuff on it but I think I can still get away with it isn't that cool looking I like it I like that it's kind of streaky like it just sort of zoomed in there yeah I'm, I'm liking that a lot. Your rocks are on we'll the move. That. We'll look at that. Okay. We're going to do this one. No, we're not. We're going to do... Let's do one of our... All right, Judy, no problem. Leave us running. If you got to slip on an app. She has to what? She has a doctor's appointment to run to. Oh, I was okay. telling her to leave us up if she's got a, some, like, you know, desktop or something. Absolutely. <laughs> Bolster our numbers. Bolster our numbers. That's right. <laughs> leave us going. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this one with the blue. And this is a transparent blue. Yeah, there you but go. But I'm going to make it ever so slightly more transparent by using this Hi, stuff. Fran. I know. I heard that you guys have something special in the works. If you want to talk about it, you can talk about it in the chat. Tomorrow's stream, they're, they're working on something. Oh. Yeah. She was prepping. She was prepping. Mm -hmm. I like the Ranger Mini Misters. Oh, I have some of those. I like those too. But now, like for water and stuff, they're terrible because they, you know, it's like five pumps and, and you got to refill it. But the little Mini Mister things are quite wonderful. Hey, watch out. You're, you're scooting me here. Sorry. My stencil. Don't be turning that thing. That's these little boogers. I have some of those. I like yeah, them. I, I think they're she just... She thinks they're dumb. Stupid. There's a product for everyone. Yeah. I don't like everything that she does. I like mine in about a five gallon <laughs> milk jug, <laughs> jug type thing. So I don't have to run to the bathroom every 30 Ew. seconds. And Look at those bug sprayer pumpers. <laughs> that's there. really more her speed. That, that's my speed. <laughs> and I, I need tarps and a, a wall. A room. A spray booth room. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to do a little better job of lining this up. I don't know. 
Oh, you don't really have to. I don't. I mean, we might talk about you, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ooh, ooh. Groove, bad, bad, bad. Well, that's... You can be more technical. He's just not that technical. You know. I see, I can be a little bit more on this. Yeah. Now, that's ooh. very subtle. I like it. Yeah, this is a really nice uh, transparent color. I, I like this manganese blue a lot. I don't like it so much. It's kind of Miami Vicey, but, you know, has its place. I like it. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, we could even go over that with another one. Yeah, any old any old markers. Yeah, markers of any kind. You can soak those and create sprays out of them. Take the little, you know, if it's the type that have those, what is it, the, you know what I'm saying. What, what are you talking about? Okay, it's like cigarette filters. <laughs> but, you know, those markers that have that. Oh, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. You take that out, like cut it in half or whatever, stick that into a bottle, then let it all, all the color come out, and then you've got to. And you can usually get those spray, those cheapy mm -hmm. spray bottles at um, the dollar store. Absolutely. And they work just fine. Now, or I even was, at the grocery store. I was going to use this one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use this. No, I'm not, because that's not the same size. Dad gummit. Okay, here, this will be a good one. All right, this is the blue that I was telling you about that's tricky. It's, um... Small, is that the small? That's the small. So, you use a little bit more than you think you're going to need because when you brayer it out, it, 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 it dries quickly and you need to be able to... Yes, yeah, she's using half sheets of paper because this is, is this your 5 by That's a 5 by 7 This is my 5 by 7 All right, I'm not using any kind of stencil because I've already got this on here. No, I, I just want to this. see what happens here. I don't agree with this. Jesus. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's right. Hi, Renny. Oh, well, now it's not horrible. Look Man, at the it looks... depth that you're getting there. I mean, uh -huh. can you see it? Oh, yeah. And you're wiggling it just right, like a pro. Okay, that's smalt blue. That was, that, that was Small good. blue. Okay, that now I have a little bit of it on there, mm -hmm. but isn't that pretty? I think that that's why nice. she, she likes the small. I like small. Okay, I'm gonna take small blue again. And this is my eight six by eight. But you saw how much I used way more than usual. This is mm -hmm. where the only way you can learn how paints work is just. To do them. Hello, Louise. Well, oh. we are um, today is all about kind of doing some gel printing basics. We started out very, you know, just talking about even all of your needs that you know before you even get started, okay. kind of your checklist. Did you see what hap started to happen there? Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. What Where is my other? What happened? Pencil. Oh, see, changing up varying sizes can add interest. And I'm holding this down as I go along. Well, number one, my paper, you see, my paper yeah, it's lifting. it's curling. <laughs> it's curling. It, well, it's because it was curled. But I'm really pushing, pushing, pushing. And we just hope that it's lined up fairly good <laughs> Ooh. now I'm a little sad that you did it to that print but that's okay you're in charge all right now I am I don't have anything to, to put this on so I'm leaving it on the plate 
to thoroughly dry and then come back with something else and pick it up. Those of you that are coming in, do give the thumbs the upsies. Let's everybody know that you're over here and having fun. And having fun. Are you having fun, Pete? That's not quite dry. I was a little worried that she was gonna, you know, kind of revolt on me about this whole keeping things simple. <laughs> no, I, as long as I'm gel plating, I don't really, I don't really yeah. care. Now, did you see how nicely that lifted off of there? Ooh, and what's that? <laughs> what's that? Hang her on her bit there. Well, this is an edge. Oh, some of that pink business. Yeah, but that's because this is a very nicely prepared plate. Mm -hmm. And came off slick as a whistle. But look at the vibrancy Ooh. there. Whoa. Now that in the background mm -hmm. is the Deco Arts, right? Yes, the blue. Mm -hmm. The cobalt blue. No, yes it is. It's this one right mm -hmm. here. The glossy one. Now, is it that glossy? It doesn't seem that. It doesn't that. seem that glossy. But it it's feels a little bit different. I, I certainly wouldn't say gloss. Now, I, I don't know what they mean by that. But I, it, it, it's it not. Really sh maybe I didn't shake it really good. Because it's been a while since I used that. Okay, well maybe we should do another one and see. Because I do want to use. Now you saw the stencil that I used and how small it is. And then of course there's the one that you can use on the great. On the, this is aqueous effervescence. And I really I love this and even using it on the smaller plates, and then coming back with this one. This is really. Cool technique. And we have it in the 5x7 version, so you right. can get the big and the small in the 5x7 version if only you have 5x7 plates. There's no need to buy a bigger stencil than which you kind of, yeah. you know, again, just ways to think about getting the supplies that you need without getting things that you aren't necessarily going to need. You're right. Okay, now, with that in mind, I'm going to take this. Or you can get the bigger ones and go edge to edge for sure. Yeah. And, you know, if you're just going to buy one stencil, I go for the big one because you're going to use it on the big plate and you can see what I'm doing right here on yeah, the small if you, plate. If you plan on, you know, if you really like what you're doing, because now you have pulled a thousand prints or at least 500. <laughs> You now have the confidence to say, all right, I'm into this. I'm going to um, move to uh, a bigger plate. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And it's nice to have the multiple plates because it, once you start becoming a bit more, you know, once you start letting some dry over there to rest, now what do you do? Do you sit around and wait for the paint to dry? No, you need another plate. <laughs> yeah. And what I, I love my setup that I have here because I can just keep going. I, I can do this all day. Yes, she does. Oh, that's way too much paint. It's okay. <sighs> now what do you do? Well, I'm going to try to reverse ombre this with the um, small... What is the name of this? Thank you, Mo. Aqueous Effervescence. And Mo uh, has put the link. And yes, we Aqueous do. Aqueous Effervescence. You got to use the drop down to choose because we try to keep them to style so that way we don't have a million gazillion different SKUs all listed in a website. Yeah, and I, I apologize. This is really a crummy, crummy. <laughs> I mean, I, I've got so much paint out here. Um, she could do an 8 by 10 or a 9 by 12. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that. There are books about stenciling, Heather. But books with stencils? No, I don't know about that. Well, this is not working out like I wanted it to, but, you know, it sort of kind of is. I mean, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. It's not okay. as ombre as you wanted. Because you not, had so much paint, you had to burn exactly. it off, which then mixed it up. Yes.
Now, did you get the positioning proper? <laughs> Absolutely spot on. Oh, spot on. I meant to do that. <laughs> but that looks cool. I think that looks cool. And that was all deco art paint. And that was all deco art paint. Okay, now where's my other little dude? Aw, thanks, Gayla. She says, great show, PM. It's great to review for beginners and good reviews for the rest of us. Well, and it's fun to think about those going back to the basics, you know, and that journey that you've been on, what you've learned, and, and even some of those things that you got, oh, you know, why don't I keep it a little more simple? Because some of the simple things turn out really cool, like yeah. the little comb deal. And this, I mean, this is two layers. Now, you don't have to have... Oh, it's too dry. But that's a good thing. Well, you can always try a matte medium. It's just I enough. can always try matte medium. And we know that this is dry. Yeah. <laughs> and we can use... We can get a double whammy. Now, I did kind of pull some off there. Um, where are your stencils under your brayer off sheet? I love that effect. What do you mean? I don't understand that. Yeah, I know. I don't either. Oh, I think what she's saying is when you put the stencil underneath the brayering and then you get the cool, when you brayer off. Oh, where I go over yeah. the top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could do that here. That might be kind of interesting. That might be kind of interesting. That might, but I'm not going to use that. Good call, Brenda. If that's what you were talking about, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We'll put the stencil down and then put. I'm not going to try to match that up. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Let's use something really. So now, what are you. Wait, I don't know see. if she understood. Yeah, now I'm going to. No, she was talking about, I think, the. Um, your, your brayer paper. Remember when you had the stencil underneath? Oh, yeah, your over brayer there. Off. Yeah. Your brayer off. Well, uh, yeah, okay. We can do that. I can put the... But she's I got a different put, idea for this. She's going to stick yeah, with it. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I got yeah. that over here. Yeah. And I think the bigger one is probably a better one for uh, for that. It probably is, but I don't... It's buried over here somewhere. I don't know where it is. No, I meant like the bigger pattern. Oh, that you yeah. you just put that. Good job. You're doing a good job, Pete. Thank you. Goodness. I love this color, by the way. Oh, yes. Th that is exactly how P started out with making stencils. Yeah, use some manila folders. You can use um, even packaging that has a little bit heavier, but not too heavy cardboard. Um, if you want to be able to cut it, you can, you know, once you get a couple layers of paint on them, they become a little bit more sturdy. <laughs> no, I forgot which end is which. Oh, well. That's fine. I don't think that. I don't think it's really no. going to make a whole. No. Hoopla. Bit hoopla of bit of difference here. Now you're going to have to let that sit. I don't know. Maybe not. Really? Maybe not. Well, that would be like the fastest reactive grab on do it ever. Well, you can tell. You can test. Is it coming up? Some if it's it. not coming up, or here's the other thing. Back down. There might be a point where you're like, "Ooh, enough of it's coming up. I should just go ahead and get it," and that's beautiful. And then you still have that stuff at the top up there. Very nice. Look at that depth there. Now you did. What, sorry, what was it that you put down? Was it the? Oh, the shuttle. And again, very affordable. You get like I, I'm telling you what, I, I love this stuff. I use it a lot. She's a little sad that <laughs> that particular color. <laughs> she yeah, likes that I'm, one the I'm best. low on this, and <laughs> I've got another blue that I use in here all the time. I shoved it at the back because I want to make myself not use it. Yes, and, and Carla says, yes, Heather, check out the Pharrell Davies uh, stencil making till you can afford the PM Artist Studio. I like that. We, we, we support this. <laughs> Okay, well let's clear. Let's just do a plate clearing here. Yeah, you get, you're starting to get some weird. Yeah. Okay. One of my very favorite colors in this 
stuff here is it's called toasted marshmallow and I'll tell you what Robin McClendon even uses this that's how you found out about that this mm -hmm. is yeah oh no oh no oh did, don't oh, you have another one there I'll I know get but it. It, it's it's oh, it's almost that. out and it will be forever to get it down to the bottom <laughs> I don't even know we were a little ill prepared on the yeah right. I'm helping her out hopefully okay hey whoa I, I, I'm getting some here okay then I'm not gonna break the seal on that oh great look did you see what happened there some of the other was still on there that um the shuttle from, art or er, the yes shuttle art yeah the color shifty stuff color shifty stuff and I got way color too. change it's the color change color change the folk art is the color shift that's right it's a little more expensive still very affordable I, I think I mean I just you know sometimes I say what I'm, I'm gonna do and I do it and then sometimes I don't more. I wasn't gonna do it <laughs> I wasn't gonna do that at all she's gonna do a straight pull but yeah making it a little more interesting spicing it up well we pretty much liberated everything there but I you don't know what? I tell you what lady sometimes just because that's the paper that was near you mm -hmm. true that <laughs> would you stop doing it? those are really cool can you just leave those alone and cut them up or something oh goodness it ain't <gasps> Thursday it ain't Thursday but I guess we've been living right oh man oh this is a good companion piece for what is the you one? showed me that this morning oh so yeah they go really well with like the quilted no 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 circles. no no I'm talking about the zigzaggy one an old one. Oh, the just the Southwest Deco one I think so oh yeah cuz see these things here did you get it in the shop overlapping <laughs> hoopty doos all right well let's change gears uh, here and he knows if he gives it to you you're gonna he knows I will use it especially if you got a gel plate that's out um I think we're gonna call that one Viking something but I don't know oh he does not have it in the shop yet he said no well she's gonna use it oh that's fine I think this one probably cut that what, what was the cutting we'll have it on Thursday yeah but she's gonna print with it. That's fine. Give it a little R and D. <laughs> okay, let's go with a dark color so we can really see what see what it does. Print all you want, we make more. That's like the you know, crunch all you want. Well, we've got some stuff underneath here, you realize, so you know. Oh well. I'm gonna oh. give a good little Hershey's Kiss poop out there. <laughs> oh, Scandinavian. Yeah, see, I was saying kind of like a Viking shield is what it looks like. Well, I, know, I was even thinking of Pennsylvania Dutch. You know, the barn designs. Oh. Well, Brad has some ideas for some others, too, so. We are not. Oh. Aha! See, Brenda, good call. <laughs> there we go. Look at Look that. that. <laughs> I say as I'm my thing is drying on yes. the light here. I'm gonna. I'm hoping to get it onto a regular piece of paper rather than tissue paper. You know what's kind of cool sometimes on these ones where it goes off the page. I get that stencil type kind of going off the page too and it's kind of cool I think oh view master cartridges <laughs> yeah I gotta add that like to it that's funny oh 
Oh, Ginger, that, thank you, and welcome to the stream. That is a Baron. We have a guy now. His name is Anthony Cody. Uh, I don't have his link right here. Uh, Mo, do you have Anthony's link by chance? Um, but he's on Etsy, Anthony Cody. He's on vacation right now, but he makes them to order. So you can pick your wood. He even has some that have inlays in them. Yeah, this cool is an stuff. old one from Stampin' Up. They don't make them anymore. But we're going to get one from Anthony Cody. I've been talking to. Oh. Wait until he comes back from vacation. Tell him we sent you. That looks cool. And I whatever that was still left back on the plate is kind of cool. That it's yeah like little threads in there or something. It's steamy. Yeah. Steamy stuff going on. Thank okay, you. Okay, that is going to dry. Oh, yeah. We got some some pink stuff here. Awesome. Yes, there's the link. And just message him. Um, I think that he said that he probably wasn't going to be checking messages as of like today, but just give him some give him some time and he'll be back he makes beautiful beautiful barons i don't have another open plate I, I've, oh they're I'm all like, ripening over there well they're either ripening or they have something on them well i don't know what to tell you well are you gonna get some stuff off of them well i'm yeah i'm, I'm trying to <laughs> got 15 minutes Yeah, Susan was the one who turned us on to that, to, to Anthony. We appreciate that. And then Patty Tolly got one. <laughs> Patty has it. We need one. <laughs> I, I really don't need one, but I do believe no. in supporting, well, and I, I would, supporting our fellow artists. Because yes. Because I think that that is... I think that that is very cool. And, and I think that it would be cool if you had a little bit bigger... Of the, the wood one. So. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to scoot it over so I can get it over on the other side mm -hmm. before I. I, I uh... Edges. Muy importante. <laughs> what paint makes gold gold? Not not a lot of making gold. You need something sparkly. Eyeshadow. You can, um, actually what you can do, Heather, is if you have highly like, sparkly makeup, you can use those on the plate, kind of like how P was doing that day with the mica powders. Same kind of thing. So that'll make anything shimmery. 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 Shim shim shree. I don't want to stay away from that because I don't want to make it southwest. I wanted to make it. Oh yeah, Diane says she's been attempting more deliberate gel prints such as like landscape building, etc. Definitely like window painting, like thinking backwards. Oh yeah. You know the people that make the, the pancakes? I'm always amazed by that. You know what I'm talking about. You know you've watched some of those. They're amazing. I mean, it's some, <laughs> some of them, it's like, man, I don't want to eat that. That is really cool. Yeah. Plus, I'm also a little curious about, like, what, what is it that they've made the batter black with? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Should I be ingesting that? <laughs> well, Heather, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. This is the only what? dye shadow she has. It's black. <laughs> well, oh, man. very proud of you. That's restraint. <laughs> well, it's only happened to me about 900 times. I, I, I really need You're to, over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm not even surprised anymore. Sorry. I'm just like, crap. Love that sound. Mm -hmm. oh, the gorilla is Brenda's favorite of the pancakes. I haven't seen the gorilla. Alright, now see down here.
you're going to have to just take your fingers and get that out of there because that isn't coming out. Yeah. So. Those little bitty tiny, little bitty tiny things in there. Oh, Diane, I totally, she's, she did complex store windows painting, painting when she was younger. Her brain just doesn't handle that. I, it is, it's very complex. That's going to be cool. Look at some of the it, other well purple came off. I like that. I did too. Almost. Now, so that was the Amsterdam purple that was on the stencil. And yeah. then what was the yellow that you used there? Was that a deco art? Uh-huh. Nice. No, it wasn't actually yellow. It's celery. Mm. Celery. Celery? Celery. <laughs> if you're from Louisiana, you say celery. Uh, it took me a long time to figure out what exactly that dude was. <clears throat> okay, we need to pull this with something. And it's light, so we're going to go dark. Mm -hmm. Dark. Let's do some of this. That would be really, 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 really nice. Oh, <laughs> it. <laughs> it's especially when, when you're done and you realize you forgot the nose. Just, just sketch it on the outside like with a sharpie. This is probably going to be a, it's going to need to ripen. Yeah. Well, there's some stuff there, but. Hey, it's a good underneath layer. And, I don't know. Yeah, that might, that might be some cool looking stuff. All right, you got eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, or we um pull whatever you can, and then we will show the head and the dragon. I love that, and that was pretty simple. Pretty simple, nice little print. Okay, and this one you will not even recognize it the next time you see it because it will be totally different. And I do want to kind of go through. Yeah, do a little flippy through on the prints today. I think mm -hmm. that, that's a very good idea. But let's look at old. Well, she didn't have a name yet. Because we, we, I don't know. She does not have a personality yet. She so doesn't. She's still very. And then I got the dragon. And I don't. Should I, should I go I, side by side or? And I can't touch her because she's still wet. And I'm really kind of disappointed. In, it hasn't maintained its peaks and valleys as much as I wanted it, it to it in is, areas. It's, yeah, it's starting to flatten kind out. Kind of flatten out. But that's okay because I think I can come back in and. Do you want me to go side by side? Or is it good on the. Do you I, can you see it on the. Yeah, we can see it there. <laughs> but she was lumpy. Anyway. So I just decided. I'll go side by side so you guys can see. Yeah, she was lumpy because of the texture on the paper yes, towels. Paper towels. And plus remember I was using that old mod podge. It's kind of kind of um bloppy. Paper but towel. I don't really care. Paper towel holders. This is packaging of I can't remember what came in it. It was I mean it's kinda egg shaped, but I think actually it came in shoes. Remember, like, like the oh, I think so. Things yes. that go down into the shoes. Uh huh. Um, and then the rest of it, I believe this was like a box, and then they just formed in, and because he's not done, obviously, but the, the, you know, Fort Dragon, he's been around for a long time, and then you can see that this was just packaging, 
that we had quite a bit of it. It's like paper towel almost with the different things. But then you can even see that the whole form of it was created with like just rolling up papers and then you use the masking tape. Then you put this layer of the paper towel or or um, something kind of thin, craft type paper works well. Because you need something then, and they did move on to sort of starting to paint him, but you know. That's the... Yes, I think I, that's he, because they just wanted to. We did this as um, sort of a Christmas present to the boys when they were much younger. Mm -hmm. And we spent a whole day on this. That picture and everything. And then um, the other one is a, a rabbit, but he's up there and I'm not getting him because he'll be extremely dusty and then she'll start sneezing. and. So yeah, I will. Pop. Okay, well we did all of those. I thought that was fun. <laughs> Here, I'll go back top side. Remember, this one has a little layer of shimmery. <laughs> Will there be bodies to the heads? No. We just do the heads. They're great for putting out on the, you know, tables. Put hats on them and stuff. Oh, no. that That's the one Pete gave the nose job to. Yeah. Yeah, Izzy. That was the other. Because Izzy had bit her nose off when she was, like, two. pretty gold tissue paper and this was a pull with the cobalt blue this is a really I messed up a really nice print there hey it's gonna happen but I still like it oh Brenda you have no idea we, we still need a bigger house <laughs> This was a big house for two people. And then became a very small house for five people. <laughs> Plus one that likes to save things. Did she talk about Izzy? Yeah, she's also, she, well, she's a little mini Gigi. Cobb, we were at the pool the other day and she's picking up those pine cone things. <laughs> and Bradley was like, Izzy, you already have some of those. I know, but I need to take these to Gigi. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look. My plus is from Pennsylvania. Your plus is from Pennsylvania. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, we have X's from Texas. Oh, the, the pluses are from Pennsylvania. Yeah, it has to be a P word. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's about it, ladies and gents. I think we've done everything we said we're going to do. Do remember to oh, like, right. subscribe, and do all that business. All right. What else? What else? I got to show them. Is he's. Oh, I. Didn't we show that the other day? No, we did not show this the other day. No, we were talking to Christy and I showed it. Yeah, she was making it while we were talking to Christy. That's okay, it. this is this is the necklace that I wanted her to give me. One. But see, she cut it into pieces, which I thought that was pretty good. Oh, I yeah. mean, the length that she, she did. And I don't know where this this part, but there's, it's a portrait. Mm -hmm. I don't know that you have it up. I have it right. Yeah, I do. See, here are the eyes and the mouth. Okay. And the hair. And she's she's doing a cute little, I mean, she's got some stuff down here. She's making a little house and making um, <laughs> little little people, and she can't even cut them out. Uh, yeah, she's very into these, she calls it, well, she's now saying it right, but she was saying puppet shows. And we're like, no, it's puppet. Oh, puppet shows, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's really into the puppet shows. Yeah. So she's building little scenes and... Putting things on sticks. Keeping boxes and using a lot of tape. <laughs> She's a very big tape user. All right, are we ready? I End think we this. are. Okay. I think we are. Number one, please do come over to Makers. Those of you that are already in Makers, there's still plenty of time to participate in the July giveaway for the $100 gift card. Super fun. If you need information on that, either holler at me or Mo. We can get you over to all of the, you know, giveaway, what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it. Number two is the July Creative Collab. Those of you that are in Makers are already have started, um, our non-YouTubers already started posting. I am so amazed. You guys are awesome and I love it because they, they're all different. 
and I'm getting inspiration from them, which I needed <laughs> for my YouTube version. Um, some of the people that are here in the live stream are also some of our YouTubers. We do that creative collab each month. I think our one is going out on 23rd, I think. Sorry, I should know these things. I'm in charge. You know. I don't know any of them. She doesn't know any of them. Um, let's see, so that's that. Please like, subscribe, and do all that YouTube business that we very much appreciate. The links to the Artie Perks if you're interested in saving more on stencils or just supporting us in a way that uh, you get fun emojis. That's the place to go to do all that. Otherwise, we shall see you guys on Thursday. It will be Thursday Thoughts. We have lots of cool things to show you. I don't know what our thoughts are yet, but I have some ideas, and I'm sure Pete does as well. So. I do have, even have some things written down. Fantastic. We shall see you then. Bye, guys. Bye.